Welcome back to Gordon's Views and Reviews, where we look at everything from world politics to how my grass is growing, where I buy products and test them, and give you my honest evaluation to help you have a more informed decision about products you're interested in. Today we're going to look at the Moana Caster AU200 uh, bundle. This is a sound card. It's an audio processing system. Let me just read to you from the package what this says it is. It says the AU AM200 monocaster is a podcast production studio designed to work with smartphones, tablets, and computers. It is plug and play on iOS, Android, Windows, and the Mac OS with no additional drivers required. There is a built-in DSP for audio processing and it has one key enabled sound FX and special effects to improve the audio quality of your live streaming, podcast, and karaoke, as well as make them more entertaining. The kit includes a condenser mic. The features. It has dual microphone input for two people live streaming. Accompaniment input to enrich your content independent microphone and accompaniment volume controls, side chain feature to emphasize vocals, four fun pitch changes, four immersive reverb modes, 12 step electronic music key control for more accurate vocals. That's uh, auto-tune. Advanced noise cancellation, cancellation algorithm to reduce ambient noises. Three analog output st uh, stream to multiple devices. It has a USB-C for easier connection with computers and charging. It has uh, compatible, it's compatible with Windows and Mac OS. It has a built-in battery with up to eight hours of off-grid operation. So let's open this up and see what it does, see what it looks like. Once we get it open, we'll do some, some sound tests. We'll let you hear what it sounds like. Here we have the Moano Caster Lite. It's an AU AM200 starter bundle. Let's unbox this and uh, see what's inside. So we have the instruction manual and we have a use oh, two user manuals, a big one and a small one. Inside we have the main unit itself. I'll set that aside. Underneath that, inside, we have the microphone and it comes on a small tripod as well. We have two boxes. We have a foam cushion. Oh, okay. And the XLR to uh, eight millimeter. Ah, uh, sorry, one one eighth inch, three point five millimeter connector. XLR cable to three point five millimeter cable. And we have these boxes. Let's see what's inside. This says it is the USB C charger. set of headphones, USB 
C cable. And this is a USB C to I'm not sure what. It looks like USB C. It's a mobile adapter. And the other box. We have one, two, three audio cables. TRRS to TRRS. So let's put this stuff together and see what happens. Let's look at uh, what all the buttons do. First we'll turn it on. So you can see all the little buttons line up. So the denoise comes on by default. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. It is, it is very strong. So here we have your built-in sound effects. You have opening, applause, gunshot, laughter, booing, awkward, slapping, and cheering. Here we have four keys that you can program to your own pre-recorded sound effects or messages. I have one set for my introduction to, to these videos. Here you have music only. Here you have loop back. Here you have pitch. This changes the voice from to female, male, uh, baby, robot, and back to normal. Uh, this is the denoise. It's very, very strong. I do not use it much. And there you have side chain. Across the top here you have something that says electron. This actually turns on your auto-tune. And as you turn that on, it cycles through each of those keys. And it will tune your voice to the appropriate note. You have volume control for the microphone. You have your monitor volume control. So if you have your headphones plugged in, this will control the volume through the headphones. Here you have echo, reverb. There's a click stop at the halfway mark, five, on both of these. Up here across the top, you have your low, mid, and high frequencies, and you can control how much you wish to change those. This is your EQ. Okay. Here you have your record volume, min, max. I can't see it when I do that, can you? Okay, so min, max. And over here, you have your music volume. So if you are uh, have music streaming in either through one of the con connections on the rear or through the Bluetooth, that will control it. Let's look at the back side of this. I'm going to turn it around so you can actually read those. You have the power button. You have this controls the brightness of the button lights. Your USB-C for charging or for connecting to the computer. Pod 1 output, pod 2 output, pod 3 output. You have a general output. You have a music input. You have a headphone jack. You have mic 1 and mic 2. That's it. On the bottom you have little rubber feet to keep it from sliding around. This is actually a drawing table and it is tilted at about a 60 degree angle. And you can see it's sitting fine there. I want to do a comparison here on the microphone that came with the Moanocaster unit and a higher quality microphone. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be using the MXL 770 microphone. I have the microphone on a stand on my knee and I'm recording into my Evister L53. 
I'll switch to the microphone that was included with the kit and we'll see what the sound compares like. Now I've switched over to the microphone that was included with this kit. Uh, the model number is in the text below here on the screen. This is for comparison with the MXL 770 microphone. I am recording both into my Avistor L53 digital recorder. They're plugged directly in. For the recording with the MXL, the gain was set at 1. For this recording with the Moano microphone, the gain is at 35. So just for fun, I thought I'd try a, th a third microphone here of similar style. This is the newer NW800 microphone. Okay, so the gain is set again at 35, the same as with the Moana microphone. This should give us a good comparison of a similarly priced microphone. So what do some of these buttons do? Over here we have pitch. This is going to change my voice. The first setting is what they call female. The second setting is what they call male. The third setting is what they call baby. The fourth setting is what they call robot. And we're back to female. Back to effect cancels it. Over here we have opening. Gunshot. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> Booing. <laughs> the one that's labeled awkward, which I think they mean awkward. <laughs> Slapping. Cheering. Yay! Using the loop back button, you can record your own. Welcome back to Gordon's Views and Reviews, where we look at everything from world politics to how my grass is growing. And that just about covers all the buttons. You have the uh, volume controls here for your microphone, for your microphone, no microphone, microphone, and you have echo, which uh, isn't doing a whole lot here, but if you go to pro setting, you get a lot more echo. Pop, you're getting a lot. On the MC, you get even more. And we're back to the original. I'm going to take that off. You'll notice the Bluetooth light is flashing. That's because this is connected via Bluetooth to my phone. So if a call came in, I could take the call over Bluetooth. Um, if I were playing music, it would feed music into the system from my phone without having to connect it. So you could have a music input connected on the back. You could have an uh, output, which is a master output, uh, pod one, pod two, pod three. So you can have four, you could have five things directly connected to this, not counting your two microphones and your headphones. And you could still have a Bluetooth connection. Pretty impressive. So there is one button I didn't discuss here. I'm going to turn it on now. That's the denoise button. This button has caused me all kinds of grief since I got this. Um, 
from some of the reading I've done, looking at some of the other reviews on this, what I've found is that if you speak quick, if you speak continuously and you don't have any pauses in your in your presentation, then this isn't too bad. But if there are pauses, it seems to really block up portions of, of the speech. You can hear it now. You can hear it. And it sounds horrible. That said, it is a really powerful denoise filter. It, it really cuts out all of the background. When I turn it off, uh, I'm not sure, but there, there seems to be more um, background hiss, background noise. And um, full marks, it, it, it really does cut down on that noise. But for some reason, it, it cuts out uh, parts of the speech and it really makes it feel garbled and sound garbled. I, I really don't like the sound of it. What do you think? Here we have all the included things to connect to this Moana caster. We'll start with the microphone and we'll connect it to the stand. Now, be careful, this is a plastic microphone. You don't want to cross thread it. It, uh, it goes in quite easily. When you're done, you want the Moano label to be facing you. And this is because this is where the, the uh, condenser is. You can adjust the, the tripod to suit how you're going to set things up. Next, you connect the microphone cable to the microphone by aligning the pins at the base of the mic to the holes on the plug at the one end of the cable, and the other end goes into the port on the back of the Moana caster labeled a mic one. In this box, we have the USB-C cable, which is both for charging and to connect to your computer. There is also an adapter to connect to your phone. It's a USB-C male, a USB-C female. It plugs into the rear of the, the Moano caster. They're both uh, clearly labeled. You can see the large white labels there. In this box, we have three TRRS cables to connect to various uh, to connect the various devices to your Moano caster. They each plug into the back. They go in. The first one goes in pod one output. Second one, it's going to go in to pod two and pod three. That leaves us with four empty ports. We have output, music input, headphone jack, and lastly, micro two input. So we can turn this on, the on switch in the back. You can see the lights all come on. Now, let's connect a few things. From one of the outputs, I will plug into my Tascam recorder. From another output, I'll plug into my Evister recorder. From another, we'll plug into my Galaxy Note 9. Now I'm going to press record there. I'm going to press record there. And we'll press record on the phone. So first of all, I'm going to I'm going to connect one more thing. I am going to connect an MP3 player. And that is going to go the music in port. Press OK. 
Oh, I don't have my headphones plugged in. Yes, I do. So now the music is playing. I'm going to take the denoise off because that buggers everything up. I am going to turn on the side chain. Welcome to Gordon's Views and Reviews, where we look at everything from world politics to how my grass is growing. The side chain, as you can hear, cuts out the music so that the voices can be heard. If I stop talking, the music comes back. There are sound effects on this machine. Some of them you might use, some of them you're probably less likely to use. But you do have control over everything that's going on. You can change pitch. So that my voice becomes different. You can change it to this, it becomes much deeper. Or just back to the normal settings here. Have, we're connected to three recorders, we're connected to an MP3 player, and we're recording through this microphone. Now, if I had another person around that I was interviewing or something, I could plug in another microphone. This, this is the Moano uh, vlogging microphone. Now I'm recording through it. I'm not recording through the other one. Now I'm recording through this microphone. Now I'm recording through this microphone. Currently I'm recording into this microphone right here. This is the Moano vlogging microphone. Uh, I'm going to unplug this one. Uh, before I do, I'm going to turn the volume way down so I don't get a lot of noise. This is the mic control, mic volume control button. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in a lavalier mic that I have here. I don't know where to show it so you can see it. So there's the lavalier mic. Um, I'm going to use a, an adapter pin. This is this particular lav mic is a TRRS. I'm going to connect it to a TRS to plug into the microphone jack because that's what the microphone jack is expecting. I've now plugged in the lavalier microphone and that's what you're hearing. I have up here I have tone controls so I can adjust the bass as much as I want. I can adjust the mids so I'll bring them up or take them down. And I can do the same with my highs or take them all the way down. What else do I have here that I can show you? I can introduce echo into this. This slide control controls the size of the room and the amount of echo that you're going to get. I like very little echo in my room at the moment. So I will turn it all the way down. I think that's good for now. As you can hear, the lavalier microphone does a very good job of shutting out all the room noise. That's because it's so close to your mouth. Um, that's what it picks up, not, not the surrounding room noise. So what are my final thoughts on this Moana Caster AU200? The packaging is, is excellent. The, the, the box is, is well presented and the foam inside uh, isolates and insulates and protects everything wonderfully. It's, it's very well executed. The, um, the build quality overall of the main unit itself, the one you see over my shoulder, is excellent. It, it really is. The cables that are included with this package are 
the, 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 one of the first things that struck me is how heavy duty they, they feel. They're really solidly built. They're really thick cables, not the thin wires that you get with, with some other products. These are really good quality cables. Um, the included microphone. I'm not overwhelmed with the quality of the microphone. It's, um, it's a plastic construction. Um, the little tripod um, is more or less stable some of the time. Um, it's a smart looking device. The microphone looks good. The sound quality, as you've heard, isn't horrible. It, it's, it's quite decent. The ability to plug it directly into the, into the digital voice recorder or the camera is, or the monocaster as it's intended, is, is really good. You don't need to go to an external power source like a, a mixing board or phantom power of any sort. That's a handy feature. It did seem to perform significantly better than the newer microphone. Um, but it's a similar quality. It's not really robustly built. Um, if you already have a microphone that you like, you can purchase the Moano Caster by itself. You don't have to purchase it with as the kit with the microphone. That's an option. That said, the recording quality isn't horrible, and it, it's a good place to start if, if you don't have a, a system of any sort right now and you're looking to get into podcasting or recording the audio for videos or whatever. So it's well worth considering. My one uh, ambivalent point with this unit is the denoise button. It comes on by default. It certainly eliminates any noise. It, it's just one of the strongest denoise functions I've seen on anything. But what I found in my experience and, and caused me a lot of frustration when I first got this, it tends, as you've heard in some of the samples, it, it distorts the sound, the spoken word. And since that's mainly what I'm using this for, that was a problem. And it took me a while to figure out what it was. Once I realized that and turned it off, again, as you will have noticed in the samples I've given you, the, the sound quality improves significantly. There's just this, this underlying distortion. But it does kill all the noise really effectively. So go ahead and use it, but be careful how you use it. Overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with this unit. It gives you a great deal of control. It's very versatile, very flexible. You can plug it in and use it, or you can use it unplugged with the rechargeable battery, which lasts up to about eight hours. And I, in my tests, it, it's lasting a good long time. I don't have to recharge this very often. Having the Bluetooth connection is, is a serious plus. And just the number of outputs, the, the number of things you can connect this to and the various ways you can connect it. Um, the ability to program your own buttons so that you can have your own uh, special effects or your own whatever, right? Um, intro, like I ha showed you. That's, that's a really handy feature. The side chain, if you want back, background music in your videos, having the side chain button available, it's a really, really well thought out unit. I really like this unit. Well worth looking at. Overall, I'm very impressed with this Moanacaster AU200. It is very, very versatile, whether you're using it for a podcast, uh, live broadcasting, uh, whether you're using it to control the audio in your video productions, even if you're using it for karaoke. Very, very versatile tool to have in your audio production toolbox. Very well done, Moana. Once again, I hope you found the information in this video helpful. If you have, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe.